Here are the pancakes. I love the texture on them. The texture is phenomenal. Look at that. A portion of today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. As some of you grains may know, I've always been very open about my chronic conditions and my health not necessarily being where it used to be. And sometimes it can feel pretty lonely with someone not understanding what I'm going through. And just like everybody, I have my ups and down days, which is really important for me to have someone to talk to like a therapist. And being in 2024, I really think we need to remove that stigma of anyone needing therapy because it really does help. It's really helped me on days where I felt like I wasn't who I wanted to be and I needed to learn who I need to be. And I feel like if you need to talk to somebody and you haven't done therapy yet, maybe it is the right time to start with BetterHelp. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. One of the many things that is amazing about BetterHelp is that you can do your therapy at your pace, at your preference, whether it be a phone call, a video chat, or even via messaging if you're not comfortable talking. Whatever the most comfortable version of therapy that you want, they can offer it. And they can match you to over 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise than might be available in your area. So if you are interested, check my link down below or go to betterhelp.com forward slash nerdycrafter. And not only does it support the channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp therapy. And it really is very simple to get started. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with your therapist. And in most cases, within 48 hours. And then after that, you'll be able to schedule your therapy sessions anytime that's convenient for you. And if you're not feeling the vibe with the therapist you were matched with, you can definitely change at no additional cost to you. So there's no stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or any of that stuff. So why not make 2024 the year where you look after yourself mentally and emotionally? Again, check my link down below or go to betterhelp.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp to see how you can live a healthier, happier life. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. This is the ultimate box of miniature foods. Yes, this is $110 for tiny foods that range everything from cakes to sprinkles to toast to cupcake to ice cream to nachos. There's a lot going on here, and this set is by Miniverse Make It Mini Foods. And even though the scale doesn't show too much when I put my hand in front of the box, as you can see, I'm waving it. The set is called All You Can Eat, but look at it comparatively again to my entire face. This is the entire screen. I have to back up quite a bit just to show you grains of what we have. And unbeknownst to me, this set is actually also a carrying case. We can see the carrying case on the box itself. So I'm really curious what's in there. What do we get? Let's see what we have and how creative can we get? And do they even have instruction manuals? I don't know. These are questions we asked ourselves today. But don't let the cuteness of miniatures fool you. Miniatures generally end up being pretty expensive because this was indeed $110 Canadian. Yes, it costs $110. It's expensive. Nowadays, everything's just expensive. Miniature food is more expensive than real food. Or it's about the same, more or less. Now I'm going to turn, actually, I'm gonna show you grains the box right over here. The back doesn't really show us too much or what we could do. It's just basically a dynamic illustration of what we could do. So there are different kinds of recipes. Again, I'm curious if they do give us a recipe book, but on the side, it does say make it. And I do see these colorful pancakes. I'm not usually a pancake person, but I'm still curious because they're colorful. Does it taste like strawberry? And then one tastes like oranges and then the other one tastes like banana. I don't know. I don't know. But if I did have pancakes, I would want them to be banana flavor. Just saying. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of banana, banana, what do you like? Just banana. You have to say banana now. <laughs> what kind of pancake flavor would you want if they were flavored? And then it shows us that we can store it because we have crates and then we can display it. So let's just get into it. And if you're new here, welcome to the salt shaker family in which each of us is a grain of salt. Make sure you subscribe. Otherwise you can't, you can't hang out with us. It's an exclusive club. Click on all notifications while you're there when you subscribe. So let's go ahead and see what we get inside. Okay, that's not gonna work. A few moments later. All right, so I was able to remove all the little pieces around the edges just to get this out of the way, but it is absolutely inconvenient. To oh, what is that? I interrupted myself. It is absolutely inconvenient to open, but we do have something in the back over here. What are you? We have some sort of cutout with a plate and some utensils. And then over here, it says a meal planner. Interesting. Not sure what I was expecting, but not this. And then we have a huge booklet, which I will take a look at later. And it looks like we have some cutouts 
potentially for the other parts of the, I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out together. So we don't need, we don't need this. All right, so the second we lift this part, all the ingredients seem to come out. So we have them all here. This is probably one of the most awkward unboxings I have done in the longest time. Okay, everything just fell. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, okay, we'll be right back. And so here is the case. It is pretty difficult to try and close that with one hand. So here I am closing it off and it does close into a pretty large case. And the front of the case is pretty cute. We can see that there's a fridge, there's a counter, and on the counter there's little books, there's all sorts of utensils on the counter itself. And when we turn it around, there's even more stuff. There's little knives, spatulas, whisks, graters, a shopping list that says coffee and milk. And we even have different shelves with spices and flowers and sugars and all of that jazz and then drawers right underneath. And I like the fact that it is a carrying case. I don't see a scenario where I would carry it myself. I guess maybe if you wanted to do projects, just easier to actually do them with a carrying case instead of carrying everything else. And it does clasp as you see here, it closes off and let's see how difficult it is to reopen. No, actually that was pretty easy. One of the things I noticed is just that these little pamphlets in the back just keep falling. So here you go. You get a preview of them falling right there. Look at that. There, there they are. Oh no. <gasps> I bent it. Oh my goodness. What is this? Yeah, they, they needed to have a little bit of some kind of tackiness to it so that they just don't keep, there you go. It just, it fell. I feel like at the beginning of Aladdin where he's like, it will not break, it will not break, it broke. The other thing I noticed is we do have some cute little crates. I do love me some crates. And here's what they look like in a close-up. They do have some really cool wood texture on them. So that is really neat. And the inside looks like this. We have another one. So two, oh. three, and four, four, four. <laughs> Four, four? What's in here? What is that? I have no idea what this is. Are these stickers? No, these are mats. Let's take a closer look. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have some different paper mats so that we can do some of our projects. We only have three mats, okay? And here we have the all you can eat guide. So I guess we do get some recipes. Let's see those that we have. We have orange juice, Fun donuts, a macaron cake, interesting. Rainbow pancakes, I don't think I'd call them rainbow because Mariah Elizabeth would be also very upset that they actually aren't rainbow. Mm. Just call them multicolor. And we have a berry sorbet. I guess it's there as a guide, you really have more freedom, which I really do like. In addition to the crates, we do have some transparent displays. So we have one, two, and, oh, we have more than three. Three and number four. Voila. And we have extra shelves. We don't have too many shelves, so you will be making sacrifices. <laughs> and in addition to the display case, it looks like we can also make a tiny counter. And that's basically the cutout that we have over here. And it should be pushed out, right? Yes. Voila. And I'm not sure what these are, but we'll figure it out. And so I'll spare you all the boringness of this. Boringness? Bor the mundane part. And voila. Poof, magic. Here is our counter as it's intended to be according to the instructions. I have to say it was really easy to put together and it is pretty cute. It's hollow at the bottom. Let's see, can it take on any weight? Here's my fidget toy. Yeah, here's my scissor. Yeah, why do I keep a fidget toy? Because what'd you call me? I have my own sharp pointy thing fidget toy. I love this so much. I told you I fidget a lot. All right, so let's check out what we have in terms of the actual snacks and food. My goodness, this is, this is gigantuan. <laughs> okay. And since it's going to be a little difficult to zoom in and keep the entire thing in frame, we're going to move this to the side and I'm going to show one segment at a time. So let's go ahead and put my trusty felt over here. And the first thing we have is a set of oval type plates. Next we have two little bowls. And these are, oh, that's what it is. I thought it was a hand doing this for some reason, but it's an actual drink splash. This is a cutout, so you can, you can leave it there if you want to, but here they are. And these are, they're kind of pink, and I think these are probably for ice creams or sundaes or maybe fruit salads. Again, we seem to get two of everything. I would really love to see more, especially at the price tag that we paid for this. And considering I can buy these off of AliExpress, which is probably the same manufacturer, for way cheaper 
cheaper for way more. And then we have a cake display. We do have one cake included as long as, well, as far as I could see. So we do have one display here. Next, we got two mason jars. Do they open? Yes. In the previous one, we did make some pickles. So I'm wondering if there's something similar to that in here. And I do see that we have tiny utensils. We have, oh my, we have, we have, oh no, the forks. We get four tiny forks. Over here, we have spoons also, four of them. And I'm guessing these are going to be little knives. They are absolutely adorable. It's interesting that we get four of these and yet two of every other thing. Kinda wanna see more tiny things, not just the ingredients. Oh wait, I forgot, we get like a tea time type display, which is pretty neat. So you can put different layers of foods on here. You could put savory and sweet. I don't think they make sandwiches in this set, but let's check. So let's work our way from left to right. Two different kinds of ice, interesting. We have crushed iced bag, pretty cool. And then we have ice cubes, which I absolutely adore. And here we have a glaze, what are you? says sunshine, vitamin fun, and total smiles. I'm going to guess this is a pink glaze. Let's take a closer look. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. And it is, yes. Okay, it is a pink glaze. This is our resin. And right next to it, we have this thing, chocolate. So we have two resins next to each other. So I'm guessing this is going to be more or less for a chocolate covered type fruit. Even though here it shows a strawberry with white cream, but is it chocolate or is it a white chocolate? Those are valid questions, do not at me. And on the box it says yumminess, total smiles, and choco goodness. So it must be chocolate. Let's see, it's gonna be a thick chocolate, isn't it? No, you see? For those of you who made fun of me, look at you. Now look at me, now look at yourself again. It's a white chocolate. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a very thick chocolate. It makes it easier to coat things. So voila. And it looks like we have another utensil that was jammed right behind the cake. Let's first look at this one. So it's kind of a cutter and serving tool, which I don't usually remember the name. I don't even know the name. Pretty sure your greens told me, but I'm like, and here we have the chocolate cake and let's take it out and see what that looks like. Here's what it looks like. It does feel like an eraser. So that's the texture we're getting. I'm really curious though, if you wanted to make a white icing on the cake, so you don't have to use it for the purpose it says. So if you want to put a white icing on your chocolate cake, that could also work and look pretty cool. You know what? We might try that. I mean, the whole point of getting a kit like this is to be as creative as you want to be, but I do like the tiny boxes. Tiny boxes be cute. Moving on, we have tiny mini tarts. Let's get a closer look at these. And I think these are little flexible molds. Yes, here's what it looks like. Again, you can put some of the chocolate at the bottom, put the fruits on top, and then harden it to make it look like a creamy meringue or something like that. And we do get six of these. Right next to it, we have a whipped cream. So these should be tiny whipped cream. Oh, that was a nice pop. Let's hear that again. We should get tiny, yeah. We have tiny whipped creams on the inside, only four. So let's put those in here. We have four little dollops. And then there's these three things. All right, what do we see here? This says sprinkle, this says white chocolate chips and more sprinkles. Okay, let's take a closer look. Here we have yellow and white sprinkles. Let's just take out a couple, cute, very tiny. This one has also sprinkles, but it looks like we have mint, pink and purple perhaps these three colors. And this one, I'm actually pretty curious about. It looks like we have tiny poo-shaped chocolate chip ones. They actually remind me of Hershey Kisses. If you don't know Hershey Kisses, this is what they look like. They're kind of little dollops of chocolate and different kinds of flavor. I was at some point obsessed with the peppermint chocolate one, but that's cute. I don't know what I would put it on, but it's cute to have. And then we have, that is a swirly toast like a cinnamon. Let's let's check this out a little bit more closely because you know I wanna check these, inspect them out. Let's open this and push them out. This is definitely a swirly toast. Oh, it says rye bread. Interesting. My rye bread don't look like that. <laughs> and the back says toastiness, fun buns, and total happy. Next, we have grape jelly. Okay, so let's see what this grape jelly looks like. There's total happy, vitamin fun, and sun smiles, I think. Really small. Kitty editor, let me know if you see anything. And this should be a pretty thick jelly, so a thick resin, yes. My goodness, that is a beautiful purple. We're gonna keep that closed off. And then I'm feeling fruit here, yes. What do we have? We have blueberries, I love that sound. Let's open you up. 
And these are super cute. I don't like the fact that we can see the lines of the division, but we can't have everything. <laughs> it's tiny enough, I guess. But the different colors of blues really does make me happy. And this is a, not, this is a fruit. Avocado is a fruit, right? Education time with Kitty. Again, they make some pretty cool sounds. My goodness, come on, you are. Pretty hard to open, but we have some really cute avocado slices. And next item here, this is Snacky Snacks, super spicy tortilla chips. Here's what the back looks like. 100% corny, I like, I like, I like corny. Here's what it looks like. I love that sound. One of my favorite foods to eat, I love spicy foods. And we have to see what this looks like. So let's go ahead and open you up, voila. No, how far am I, oh there, how far am I, there you go. Okay, you got it. <gasps> Look at them. My goodness, they are adorable. They are really fluorescent. I guess they really wanted to show us that they're spicy, but let's look a little closer and see if there's any texture on them. There is a little bit of texture, it's just really hard to see, and it's very minimal. Are these, oh, well, these are bendy. Yeah, these are definitely bendy. Here's what they look like, very fluorescent. Let's get these back in here. I'm a huge fan of Doritos, especially the extra spicy ones. This is basically tiny Doritos. And the next thing with it is cola. I don't think I've seen cola in this set yet, so it's pretty cool that we get it. Voila. So we have a tiny cola, and it's cute because we have the sun drinking straight from the bottle with a straw. We kind of massacred that label over here. 100% bubbly. Let's check out what color this is, if it's accurate. Oh, hello. I'm kind of curious, so we're gonna push the resin a little bit. Hello, resin. Well, I don't see the resin. Lately, Miniverse has not been giving us enough resin in some of the projects. If you want to see previous videos where I get a little bit upset. Oh no. Yeah, this is empty. How am I supposed to do projects if you're giving me empty resin? <laughs> and their whole spiel is the tiny resin. Otherwise, you can't really make anything with the project. Let me shove a toothpick in there. All right, let's see what we have. It seems to be the right color. It's just, it's really thick in there. Definitely the right color. But as I put my toothpick in there, there's just not enough. There's not enough resin to actually put into an, a whole cup. All right, and I think right now we're reaching in for the ice cream. So we have sorbet. I'm trying not to look, I don't wanna spoil, I don't have my glasses, so I really don't see too much. Okay, we have two containers. Here it says mango and here it says raspberry, but I think they are empty. Voila and voila, because I did reach out and pick these. Oh, there's more, yeah, there's more here. So I picked these from the container. So it makes it look like there's more items because they put the boxes empty. Let's put them in here. And then we have all the mangoes. Voila, here they are. We can close it off like so and like so. And we get a little scoopy. And I'm pretty sure I know what these next items are because they were one of the first projects we actually did with the mini verses. And we have some tiny macarons. We did a really cute project with it. If you want to see it, here it is on the screen. We basically made the macarons in the colors that they were intended. And then we went ahead and switched the colors up in order to give us a cuter variety of colors. I keep saying colors, a cute variety, okay? of pastries. And they come on a cute little baking tray and we get them in brown, pink, and green, which are absolutely adorable. And Dan, what are you? You are maple syrup. Cute. Here's what it looks like all the way around. Let's go ahead and remove this. What does it say? Hummingbird approved quality syrup. Okay, here's what the front looks like and here's the side. Let's see what it says. C Sun Ing, not sure why there's a C, but okay, we have Vitamin Sweet and Total Joy. And the color should be pretty similar, more or less, to the cola. Let's get a good look at it. Let's see, oh my goodness, yeah, there you go. A little bit on the yellowish side, but we have it. Definitely watch out when you get resin on your fingers, clean them up thoroughly, or make sure you wear gloves, even better, because resin is toxic. And the next item here, Hot Off Sunny's Griddle, now rainbow, three rainbow pancakes. Again, not rainbow, just say multicolored. Technically, they're not even multicolored, because they're one colored. Color varies. <laughs> Here's what it looks like in the side, the back. Let's get closer on that. 
fluffiness, super stacks, vitamin sun, and total joy. I love these tiny boxes. And the thing is, in the same way that they did with the ice cream, the box is empty. Just to make it look like the actual box we're paying for has more than what it comes with, because they're over here. Let me reach, let me reach for them. Come here. There we go. Here are the pancakes, the non-rainbow pancakes. I love the texture on them. The texture is phenomenal. Look at that. They're quite flexible, but we can see that the outer edge looks more cooked, which is very, very nice shading, nice detail. Yellow, pink, and orange. Let's put them in the box, like so. Voila, and voila. And I'm feeling more fruits boxes over here. Here we have tiny bananas. I love bananas. And here's what they look like. You can even see the details on the bananas on the inside over here. And then these are blackberries. Generally, I am not a fan of berries because the variance in flavor can go from sweet to sour to just not great upsets me. But these are beautiful. You can see the difference in the purples. We don't just get one shade of purple. We have multiple shades of purple, which makes this look less synthetic. We know it's fake, but at least it looks better. We have more boxes up here. You are Choco Nana Rings, my favorite combination. I love bananas and I love chocolate with bananas. Here's what the cereal box looks like. There's even a maze. Feel free to pause and, and do the maze yourself if you want. And here's the other side with the non-nutritional facts. And it says, go bananas, choco yum, and whole lot of oh fun. The boxes are adorable. So here's the top and bottom. Let's go ahead and check out what they actually look like. Let's pull these out. Oh, I thought at first they were all chocolate, but they're basically not fully mixed. I'm just gonna mix them because I kind of want to see them mixed. But yeah, we have the banana and chocolate flavor. It could also be vanilla and chocolate because it doesn't really show that much of a difference in color. And we have them in here, very cute. Next, you are oat milk, cute. So we're going to have a white resin. It doesn't really make a difference with oat milk or cow milk or almond milk. Oh no, why are these tearing? We do not want you to tear. Voila, plant power, grainy goodness, and total joy. But I like the fact that they added oat milk for those of us who can't necessarily have too much dairy. We're getting into more boxes up here and you are macaroni. And it looks like here it's gluten-free because it's an egg pasta, unless it's egg and gluten. But we do have tiny macaroni so you can make a mac and cheese. Now I don't know if we have any kind of orange resin, but that would have been really cool. I love their little sun. It says 100% happy pasta. Grandma approved. Here's what the back looks like, super fun. And let's see what the non-nutritional facts say. It says al dente, past delicious, and total yum. Very cool. Kind of want to take it out just to look at it real quick. Aha, it's not the full box. <laughs> it's a little tricky, aren't you? Here's what the pasta looks like, and they are definitely pretty soft. Very cute, I like that. We'll put it back in because I don't want to have to squish it back in that box. And over here we have a can of soup. This is fun. So you can kind of make a macaroni soup if you want that. Hang on, let's hope we don't tear this apart. We didn't get really many savory things. So I don't know how we can make the soup if we don't have any kind of veggies or chicken or anything like that, or even tofu. Let's go ahead and open it up and see that color. Should be a rich red, yes. Very, very pretty color. All right, let's close our can up. Again, love the details. We have that little tab that opens up. What does it say here? Spoonful of funs, vitamin yum, and total rays. I'm really hoping we get some kind of savory thing. Let's see what's next. I feel a resin and I feel a box. Let's pull these in. Orange slices. Why are there only two? Three, three orange slices. Let's get you opened up. My goodness. We get four slices of oranges, which are absolutely lovely. Look at the texture on these. Very cute. I love the fact that you can see the little strands on the inside of the orange and how the orange has different colors. Very good detail on these. Let's get y'all back in here. So I'm gonna guess the resin over here is an orange juice, yes? Yes. All right, let's get you removed so we can see what's written. I am struggling. I think it says ha happiness, vitamin fun, and total smiles. Really hard to see. The bottle itself shows a sticker of an orange and that's about it. And it says, what does it say? Squeeze the day, okay. It says squeeze the day over here. Let's just take a quick look at our orange color. Oh, that is pretty. This actually making me want to drink orange juice right now. This is a nice orange. And then this is a box. Okay, so we have, no, this is, this is an empty box. It feels empty. Let's open it up just in case. No, it is definitely an empty box. 
So this is a box where donuts would go. So I'm guessing that's where the top part is. Let's feel for it. Let's feel for you donuts. I feel for donuts. Yes, N no, these are not donuts. We have cinnamon roll. No, wait, we have donuts and cinnamon roll. So we have two swirlies of cinnamon roll. I am a fiend for anything cinnamon. So cinnamon rolls are definitely it for me. Looks delicious. And you can see the shading here is absolutely phenomenal. You can see the two different colors where the pastry basically would have cooked a little bit more. And for the donut, again, great texture and great color on this. They really aren't cheaping out on the colors and the texture and the sculpt. I'm guessing this is where it would normally go. Can it even fit all four? No. Only two of them get a box. <laughs> Only two. And then, oh, never mind. Never mind. We have a box for the, we have a box for the cinnamon rolls. Okay. Yeah, it's also empty, of course. So we have a box for both. There you go. And then I'm thinking these are more fruits. And let's pull one out first. This is strawberries. I am low-key disappointed we don't have any kind of tomatoes or vegetables so far. Here's what they look like. Again, the strawberries look pretty good. Very normal strawberries. And next one we have is kiwi. Interesting choice of tiny groceries. This is what the kiwis look like. They almost look like egg yolks for some reason. Spotty egg yolks. They're okay, but I would not have chosen kiwi. Again, would have loved to see more veggies. And that's it. Wait, 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 wait. There's more. We have drinks. We have straws, I mean. <laughs> we have straws for drinks. I feel something missing here. We have orange juice and orange slices. And we have cola. I guess you could put strawberry with it. We do have milk, but milk is for the cereal. What other juice am I supposed to make if I have two cups and two mason jars, but not enough resin to make four drinks? What? That's everything that we got. It feels like some of the projects are incomplete. Not enough veggies for the soup, no cheese to go with the macaroni, or even beef or tofu or ground something to make a pasta. And even for the macaron, we don't have any of the filling. I mean, is the white chocolate supposed to be filling? I guess. I guess you can use this. Things are a little disjointed. Yes, it leaves you a lot of freedom, but at the same time, they're removing options by not giving you more resin. Do I think this has value? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You can you can spend way less money getting all the colors of the rainbow to make your own UV resin and probably some polymer clay to make your own miniature foods, and it wouldn't cost you that much. So the products are okay, value not there. But as promised, let's go ahead and make that cake. So for this cake, we're going to take the white chocolate and we're gonna spread it as much as we can on top to turn this into a choco berry cake. Please don't be a bad resin. There you go. Wow, that is thick. She giveth. All right, so we're gonna spread that stuff right here. My goodness. That is, I am not a cake decorator. Do not commission me to make cakes. <laughs> I'm suddenly having doubts on my actual design idea. So we're gonna we're gonna spread you as evenly as we can. <laughs> oh, this is this is gonna be bad, isn't it? As evenly as we can on top. I need a turntable for this. Okay, I think that's pretty good. That's looking spiffy. Oh, we missed a spot. Very spiffy. And we're going to put strawberry here. That is not gonna be a good cake, is it? A strawberry there. <laughs> I thought I had more space than this a blackberry here and a blackberry there. And I think in between, we're going to put blueberries on either side so that there's kind of like four since they're much smaller. And I feel like I should have thought this through, but I definitely didn't. So we're gonna add a kiwi, <laughs> a kiwi in the middle. It is a fruit cake. It is a fruit cake, dosh gone darn it. <laughs> And we're gonna add more of that frosting on the bottom layer because I feel like something's missing. And now to symbolize the berries, we're gonna go ahead and put some of the sprinkles on top. Let's go sprinkles. You could do it. I'm just gonna go all the way around at the bottom. I do not want to taint the top. Let's go. <laughs> I do not decorate cakes, or if you want me to decorate cakes, I will do it at the low price of $599.99.99. <laughs> there you go. It's not too bad. Tell me it's pretty, mama. And now we're gonna go ahead and save our progress since this is Canada. We don't really have sun that has popped out lately, so we're going to use a UV light which will basically act like the sun and it'll be hardened within a couple of minutes. So we're gonna leave it right here. A few minutes later. And voila, here is our very disturbing cake. 
I mean, freedom of creativity is, is a good thing. Sometimes some guidance is needed, but hey, let loose. Would I buy this again? Absolutely not. It's just not cohesive as a bigger project. A lot of materials are missing in order to even make some ice cream bowls. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you want to watch actual full projects, check up here. If you want to catch something a little different, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.